Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Naaman, this is the House of Nerdy. And today we're going to be talking about um, Ant-Man 3, some of the rumors and set photos we've seen of the early things of um, early, of the early stages of filming and just my thoughts on what this movie will entail and how will Scott Lang fight or go against in any type of way Kang? Like, what is he going to do? Because it looks like we're going to get real Kang. What is Scott Lang going to do against Kang? We'll find out. Let's go. Let's break it down. So first thing I want to hit on is there were rumors about um, some like some people describing what they've seen, and it looks like we're gonna get Kang's time chair. And if you don't know what Kang's time chair is, it's basically his like real only weapon weapon, but it's pretty powerful. Like it's like a um it's like a defense. So like when he sits in the chair, like it has like laser defense. So it shoots a whole bunch of lasers, and you really can't get close to him, and it goes through time. So it's like a time machine chair but that shoots lasers. It sounds crazy, but it's also it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool weapon. And Kang, like I said, himself isn't like powerful. He's not like Thor. He doesn't have power himself. But he has the chair. He has the ability to warp time. He's very smart. He's born in the future. He has technology. Things like that. He has equipment. Kind of like Batman. He's, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have inherent superpowers, but he has a lot of powerful things at his disposal. And I think we're going to see a lot of those things in this movie. All right? The second thing, there was a set photo of, like, a um, spaceship looking thing. I don't know what it is. Um, it looks cool. And I think it just really emphasizes what this movie's gonna be and like the name emphasizes what the movie's gonna be it's quantum mania it's fun it's gonna be a blast it's gonna be just crazy a crazy spectacle you know what i mean like it's gonna have a lot of cool cgi effects it's gonna have a lot of cool just visual things you know what i mean um i don't know what the story really is gonna look like um it's probably gonna involve um, Scott Lang and his daughter, him training his daughter possibly, Cassie Lang, to be stature. Because we know that she was recently recast as somebody, um, a better actress, I guess, like or a more uh, actress with a higher status than the one we saw in Endgame. So I think they're going to dive deeper into that, um, like the first one did. And kind of the second one lightly hit on him and his daughter, but like the first one did mostly with him like having like conversations with his daughter having dialogue kind of what we're going to see um with the hawkeye series between kate bishop and and hawkeye we're going to see a lot of like mentors training the next avengers or the young avengers and we're going to see all of them come into place i think it's gonna you're going to see it coming it's not going to be a um crazy new thing if you so to speak it's going to be something that we can piece together and we can see them forming from probably the starting is miss marvel if it comes out this year now moving on i just want to talk about the question everybody's been asking how will scott lang fight kang the conqueror right because when we first started when i first heard kang's gonna be in there i was like okay like a whimsical kang maybe like kid kang you know what i'm saying like maybe even iron lad you know like a version of kang that's not really it's not doesn't bring a big threat or that it was more whimsical and more fun in nature but it seems like what we've seen is going to be Kang the Conqueror. Like the serious, powerful, crazy Kang. And I was just thinking like, how will Scott Lang handle this? And you know what Marvel does? You know what they're doing? They're going to, I figured it out. They're going to put very powerful people in the movie. <laughs> so Scott Lang isn't by himself. Just like they're going to have Doctor Strange in No Way Home, and they're going to have Wanda and Doctor Strange, and have all these different characters, maybe even Captain Carter and Doctor Strange, and she was just in an animated TV show. We just saw her for the first time. I think we're going to have some, like, maybe a Thor, I don't know, some crazy powerful people to defend Scott Lang against Kang, because I don't know, like, maybe, like, I don't know, like, maybe Janet Van Dyne has the power of, like, Captain Universe, that's why she could heal ghosts and stuff like that. So maybe she, because like the Captain Captain Universe has pretty powerful, and he and, and that character, like with that type of power, that's what Janet Van Dyne has. Could relatively, with the help of Kang and some things going on, maybe one character like Captain Marvel or something like that. Like I said, Thor, Doctor Strange, even they could help defend against Kang. Maybe even Loki. You know what I mean? They could help defend against Kang and push him back to wherever he wherever universe he's conquering and he rules and wherever he resigns 
until we see him again because it seems like Kang's gonna be pre uh, like overarching villain like Thanos for the next ten, six years but may, probably way more involved and we're gonna see him way more than we did with uh, Thanos because Thanos was like the definition of a looming threat like you didn't see him that much but when you did see him it, it was pretty it was pretty impactful but I think we're gonna it's gonna be a lot like that with Kang but we're gonna see him more we're gonna have a more understanding of his character and then in the big culmination maybe like a secret wars or something like that um we'll see like he'll have his thanos infinity to war endgame type moment where he can fully just like we see like it's kang season like it's he's ruling everything and he's the thing we have to we like everybody's talking about everybody has to like everybody's attention is on kang like it was thanos when infinity war dropped and Endgame was coming out that whole year span of between those movies all anybody could talk about was that purple bald-headed magnificent creature called thanos and i think it's going to be the same with a different purple creature called well i don't know if it's a creature it's more it's a human but you know what i mean purple character called kang the conqueror you know what i mean and he and i and he's a he's a fun character and the and the fact that you have so many different versions like I really think we could see Rama Tut in Eternals. I don't know if they're gonna do anything like that, but I think that's like a really cool way to have just keep like drop him in there. Like just have Rama Tut like in the Eternals for like a couple quick second scene, like an Easter egg. And then you do that throughout the MCU for the next like six years. And he's gonna be an Ant Man and he's gonna be in like other stuff and Loki season two and all that stuff. So we're gonna just have a deep understanding of his character and we're gonna really get to know Kang right and we're gonna pray for Scott Lang that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna get to know Kang and we're gonna pray for Scott Lang right okay now with that said if you agree with me or disagree leave your opinions down below peace out